Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Now, when you're considering bringing home that perfect pet for you, you might want to think about possibly entertaining the idea of an exotic pet. Hi, I'm Sarah Surratt with Get Positive, and I'm going to share with you three different popular exotic pets that you might put on your list when searching for a new pet. So exotic animals are sometimes hard to find. Some of them are on the endangered species list and some of them are actually not legal in your state. So you are going to have to check to see if they are actually allowed before you consider bringing one home. So here's the first one to consider is a chinchilla. Now chinchillas, uh, some considered to be exotic, but they're actually part of the rodent family. They're known for their fur being super soft and cuddly. They are uh, a little pet that can be enjoyable to have around because they're super personable and they live anywhere from 10 to 20 years. So when considering a chinchilla, you wanna make sure that you are going to commit to that that amount of time for a chinchilla. And the interesting fact about chinchillas is that they are odorless. So they're rather easy to maintain in a cage um, in your home. You can hang on to them and have some, you know, some fun cuddles with them on your lap. Um, they do well in social environments. So if you're not going to spend a lot of time with them, you may consider having two so they have a buddy. All right, the next one to consider might be a little interesting. I kind of consider them as uh, in between a dog and a cat, and it's a ferret. Ferrets are pretty cool because you can actually train them really well. You can teach them to walk on a leash. You can, in fact, even teach them to use the litter box. Ferrets can live in a cage and be trained to roam around the house. And always, as I suggest, you know, if you're going to get a ferret, maybe look at getting a younger ferret so that you can be involved in that training and that growth um, for creating a relationship with your ferret so that things become easier as they, as they get older with regards to the training and the litter box and all that stuff. The other thing about ferrets is that they do kind of smell <laughs> and you're going to have to keep their space clean so that you minimize the smell. They live anywhere from five to eight years and they're cute little guys. Um, I think that they do fine independently. And again, just like any cat or dog, you can always consider to have multiple, but my recommendation is always to start with one pet and really give the time and dedication that that pet needs before you move on to a second pet. But ferrets are interesting and they, they can be a little high maintenance. So you have to decide, you know, when searching for your perfect pet, whether you're young or old, um, or you have kids in the house um, or grandchildren, you know, how much maintenance, how much interaction do you want with your pet? All right, the third uh, exotic pet I'm gonna share with you today, which I just find so fascinating, is the hyacinth uh, macaw. And a macaw is part of the parrot family. As, as a matter of fact, is the largest parrot of the parrot family, um, native to South America. They run 40 inches in height with a 60 inch wingspan. Now, macaws don't come cheap. They can run you up to $10,000 and they, they do require some special care. So if you are interested in having a macaw, not only do you have to fork out some money, but you know, if you're getting a pet in your, your later years or you know, your retired years, understand that macaws can live up to 50 years. So a macaw might be something you want um, out of college. <laughs> I don't know, it depends on, on how old the bird is when you adopt it. So macaws are really smart birds. They are known for their mimicking and can pick up and copy words so quickly. Um, they are a little messy and as I mentioned, require special care. So you're gonna have to have a pretty big cage and you know, the bigger the bird, the bigger the pet, the bigger the poops. So um, you have to prepare yourself for that, that management and cleanup. So those are a few of the um, exotic pets. I also mentioned, interestingly enough, that the macaw is considered still an endangered bird, but is legal in the United States. So I think that 
Uh, there's still just about 2,500 to 3,500 of them out there. Um, so it is kind of an interesting fact that you'll want to consider and make sure that you give the love and commitment in time to a macaw if that's the if that's the perfect pet of your choice so i hope this was fun and i'll see you again soon for some other wonderful videos on cats and dogs and all sorts of things all right take care bye for more on celebrating act two visit our webpage follow us on facebook subscribe to us on youtube and tell your friends celebrating act two is the user manual for the second half of your life